Today, we are going to talk about the approach to a patient with abdominal pain, created by Sophie. It is a really big topic, as the pain could come from any pathology, from any organ. It could also be the refer pain or extra abdominal cause. So do not forget to think these causes when you list the differential diagnoses. Please go through these at your own pace. So, there are so many different possible causes of abdominal pain. The question is, how can we narrow them down? What defining criteria will you use? The easiest way is the area of the pain. Here are the examples of differential diagnosis for the patient that present to you with right upper quadrant pain. As I said before, it is very important to consider extra abdominal causes like right lower lobe pneumonia and herpes zoster. Here are the lists of differential diagnoses for right lower quadrant pain. It is very important to have details of obstetric and gynae history to all the women. I suggest you read up on these various conditions to allow you the knowledge to differentiate them amongst others, bearing in mind that they have some overlapping features. Possible causes of left lower quadrant pain. Feel free to pause this video and take a moment to process if this is new to you. The differential diagnoses for left upper quadrant pain. A well-taken history with good differentials will be vital to guide the necessary investigations for diagnosis. The characteristics of abdomen pain can further divide your differentials. Let's say if your patient comes with colicky abdomen pain, it is more likely to come from obstruction of hollow organs, such as bile duct, ureter bowel. It is also important to have detailed physical examination, including colorectal examination, looking at hernia orifices, urine dip, and routine blood tests such as full blood count, U and E, liver function test, CRP, and amylase or lipase, venous blood gas. Pause this video to see the differential diagnoses at a greater detail. In this presentation, the message I would like to come across is that the abdomen is a magic box and there are many cases that can easily be missed in acute abdomen and cases that can also mimic a less serious diagnosis. For example, triple A. In patients where an alternative diagnosis is considered more likely, you need to exclude triple A with radiology prior to referral. If your patient has these red flags, age more than 50, abdo or back pain with hypertension or collapse. Abdominal pain in the ED is the significant cause of diagnostics uncertainty and error. Perforations, triple A, obstruction, and ischemic bowels all being missed and leading to patient death. If you suspect any of these, don't delay for CT. Renal colic is not necessarily a life-threatening condition, but CT is the first line of choice with patient who comes with colicky abdo pain and urine dip shows some blood. If you are not sure the cause, but the patient with abdo pain and shock, abdo pain and sepsis, signs of peritonitis, peritonitis looks unproportionately unwell with high early warning score or lactate, go for an urgent CT. 
About 25% of the patients seen in the emergency department or surgical assessment unit with acute abdominal pain are over the age of 50 and 10% mortality in age elderly. Elderly and diabetic patients may have a vague non-specific symptoms and atypical presentations of potentially life-threatening conditions. Older patients with abdomen pain have a six to eight fold increase in mortality compared to younger patients. Likewise, these groups, complex, comorbid patients, immunosuppressed patients, require more investigations and are more likely to require admission. Here are some of the imaging choices for different working diagnoses. Not all of them need urgent imaging. Some can have them outpatient routine appointment, and some of them can get their during hospital admission. And acute appendicitis in male young patients can be diagnosed and treated only from history and physical examination findings. This presentation's purpose is to guide key facts to help clinical reasoning in acute abdomen presentation and to highlight the knowledge of common errors in the diagnostic process of this presentation in certain patient groups. You'll need to exercise actively looking for red flags. Consider senior escalation and discussion with radiology. This presentation is not purely concert maps for acute abdomen pain, as abdomen pain is a huge topic and could not create a single concept map. But I would like you to encourage you to create your own one with concept maps for pain in epigastrium, pain in LHC, pain in RHC, pain in RIF, etc. for all nine quadrants. Identify the cases that can be easily missed in acute abdomen. Identify the cases that can also mimic a less serious diagnosis and have a low threshold for more investigations and admissions. Please carefully apply double check to identify and rule out life-threatening causes. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.